Welcome back, Gunderson Health System's Amanda Starry joins us today to tell us about screening for teen depression. Hi, Amanda. Hi. So tell us, what should we know? Yeah, so um, we do at Gunderson screen for depression in our pediatric clinics. Um, and this is really important because teenagers ages 13 to 18 year olds, the prevalence of depression is about 6%. And so you see an increased risk of um, suicide in that group. So it's really important to screen early so that we can provide treatment and identify those kids early. And we know that new guidelines recommend that all adolescents begin at age 12 should be screened regularly for depression. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Is that accurate? Yeah, I would agree for the reasons I just said, to, to prevent, you know, for those kids that have depression, you know, poor school performance, problems with their social functioning, and that increased risk of suicide, we really want to make sure that we identify those kids early. Sure, and when we talk about the signs, what should parents be aware of? What should they look for? Mm -hmm. I know that, you know, seasonal depression is, is a thing, especially here, sure. um, but just in general. Yeah, I think parents should really look for any big changes in their kids' emotions and behavior. So things like withdrawing from social interactions, changes in sleep, appetite, noticing if their child's crying more than usual, um, more irritable than usual, those are all signs that something else might be going on. Sure, and then I know that a lot of teens may not want to seek help. Um, why is that? Yeah, I think one of the main reasons that comes up is, you know, teens just want to be normal. They want to be like their peers. And sometimes they feel like seeking help for something makes them different and maybe unusual. Um, and then also a lot of teens put a lot of pressure on themselves. Um, and so they might see coming in to get help as a weakness. Um, so, you know, it's really important for teens to know that a lot of kids struggle with depression um, and that if they are, that it's, there's lots of things we can do to help. There's cognitive behavioral therapy, SSRIs that can really help them out. So, okay, sure. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much, Amanda. Yeah. Very informative. Thanks yeah, for your time. Absolutely. Well, stay with us. Michelle will be back with another look at your forecast after the break.